begin with Wall Street and the markets around the world in a financial meltdown. All right, here's a look at the closing board. Just an hour ago, this is the latest in a string of down days on Wall Street, but today was particularly brutal with the Dow down more than 1,000 points at the closing bell. Fox Eyes' Antoine Lewis joins us now with more on how we got here and what we can expect now from the Fed in the near future. Antoine. Good evening to both of you. Now, we haven't had much volatility with the markets this year. It's been quite the opposite. So some experts say it was time for this to happen. But as far as how long we'll have to deal with that, well, that remains to be seen. The opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange signaled the start of a bumpy business week. The Dow Jones Industrial fell more than 1,200 points when it opened. Japan's Nikkei 225 share index also dropped more than 12 percent, its worst one-day drop since Black Monday back in 1987. The S&P index also down sharply. This is the third straight trading day that the markets opened down, while concern and anxiety are starting to go up. The outlooks given by CEOs have, you know, a lot of times been disappointing. Uh, and you add to that, uh, some of the economic data of late has, you know, been a little concerning that maybe the economy is slowing a little too fast or faster than was thought just a few weeks ago. Friday's U.S. job report triggered the current market volatility as hiring by U.S. employers in July slowed much more than economists expected. 114,000 new jobs were created last month compared to the 175,000 that economists predicted. This coupled with a decline in consumer spending with McDonald's, Procter & Gamble, makers of Tide and Charmin, along with Pepsi and its Frito-Lay division, all report drops in consumer spending. And so while it is scary and you know, there's many factors and reasons why this is happening. The main reason is a global fear of a U.S. recession. And so while recessions are very painful, if we do get to that point, they are temporary. As for looking for the feds to cut interest rates to stave off a recession. We've seen a better tone of inflation data in recent months. Uh, so the Fed is certainly lining up to begin trimming those interest rates. Uh, but some investors are worried that maybe the Fed waited just a bit too long. If you have a 401k or an IRA, you're going to see that dip today and maybe over the next few Few months it'll go up and down a lot but over time investing has proven a great strategy to build wealth again the experts we spoke with said don't be distracted by the short-term volatility I also want to point out that it was the tech industry that took the biggest hits today back over to you Natasha All right.